Welcome to the first video in our brand new series on technical analysis. You're here because you want to get started on investing. You want to learn about investing. You want to know how to get more out of your hard-earned money and put your money to work for you. Now, we all know the basic crux of investing is we want to make a profit from buying something at a lower price and selling it at a higher price. But how do we know what the price is right now? How do we know if the current price right now is low or if it's high? So today we're going to be learning about the candlestick chart. This is what it looks like right here. I'm sure you may have seen it before. This system is basically the bread and butter, the basic staple of the financial markets. And we're going to learn about that today. So by the end of this video, you're going to learn what this chart is saying. How are you going to read these charts? What are these individual little things on the chart? What do each one of them represent? And how do we interpret this information? So for this video, I'm going to be using the price charts for Bitcoin. However, the use of these charts are simply for illustrative purposes. It's not meant to be investment advice. It's not meant to be an endorsement of Bitcoin. It's important that you educate yourself and do adequate research before making any investment decision. This is the price chart of Bitcoin. Now, what is this chart telling us? So what it shows us is the movement of prices over time. So this axis is the price. As you can see, the current price of Bitcoin is around $42,450. And this axis it gives us the time. So this chart actually started from sometime in March. So this is the price over the past seven months or so. The name of this particular system of you know, creating charts is known as the candlestick charts. So each one of these you know, red and green little boxes is known as a candle. And every single one of them represents the price action that happened within one unit of time. So this chart we are looking at is a daily chart, as you can see by the D as represented here. So this is a daily chart and each one of these candles represents the prices for one day. So this is the price on July the 19th. This is the price on August the 1st. This is the price on September the 7th. Now, because this market is currently open and trading, the last candle is actually the current market session. So remember, each one of them corresponds to one unit of time depending on what chart we are looking at. As we change the time frame of the chart, um, each one of these candles will represent a different time frame. So let's say if I change this to the weekly chart, then each one of these candles actually now will represent one week of prices. If I change this to the monthly chart, each one of these candles represents one month of prices. And we can even go down to one hour. This is the price for the current hour. This is one hour ago. This is two hours ago. Uh, we can even go down to 30 minutes five minutes, and even down to one minute. So now let's zoom in to an individual candle and see what it tells us. Let's begin by talking about up candles. An up candle is a market session whereby the price finished higher than where it started. If this is a candle on a daily chart, this is the price at the start of the day also known as the opening price. And this is the price at the end of the day, also known as the closing price. So we can see for an up candle, the closing price is above the opening price. Down candles represent the market session where the prices ended lower than where they started. This would represent the price at the start of the day, and this would represent the price at the end of the day. For a down candle, we can see that the price ended lower compared to where it had started. 
So the section between the opening and the closing price is known as the body of the candle. And these you know, skinny lines that you see at the top and at the bottom, these are known as the wicks or the shadows. So the highest part of the candle, normally the top of the upper wick, this is the highest that the price reached during that market session. And likewise, the lowest part of the candle, which is normally is at the bottom of the bottom wick, this is the lowest that the price went during that particular market session. So let's see how this plays out in a live market setting. Okay, so this is the chart of Bitcoin, and this is a one minute chart. So each of these candles are one minute candles. Okay, a new candle has now opened. It is the opening price was at $42,357. Now, as you can see, this candle is still moving, it's still changing, right? So this is what we call an open candle or an active candle. So all the candles that come before this one, they are already closed. This market session has already closed and they won't be changing anymore because these market sessions already have ended. But the active candle we can see is still moving, is still changing. Okay, so now the candle has closed. We can see very clearly this was an up candle. The opening price was you know, 42357 The closing price was 42389 So it closed above the opening price. So there's no wick on top, but the highest price it reached was uh, basically the closing price for 42389 And the lowest price it reached, which is... Uh, down here, we can see there's a little wick at the bottom. The lowest price it reached was $42,356. So I hope this gives us a good picture of, you know, how the candlesticks are formed, how they close, how they move within the market session itself. Yeah. How do we make sense of this information? What does it tell us? So when you see an up candle that looks like this, what it tells us is that the price very clearly moved up during that market session. There are days where we see candles that look like this, where there is a really, really significant upward movement in prices. So what this tells us is that during this market session, there were a lot of people who wanted to buy compared to the number of people who were looking to sell. Therefore, the price increased quite substantially. So likewise, when we see a candle like this, a down candle, very clearly it tells us during this market session, the prices moved down. And likewise, there are days where we can see really, really big red candles that look like this. And this tells us that there was a really significant drop in prices during that particular session. There were far more people that were looking to sell compared to people that were looking to buy and therefore the prices fell. So up candles, down candles, it gives us a clear picture of the market direction during those sessions. Then there are candles whereby it's not very clear which direction the market moved in. Candles that look like this, whereby you know the opening price and the closing price, they're so close that we can't say for certain if this was an up candle or if this was a down candle. And sometimes these candles can be really, really big as well, where maybe the market took a really, really, really big move down and then it suddenly turned around and went back up. And in the end, it basically closed where it opened and we can't say for certain what the market sentiment is. So these are, you know, a whole category of candles by themselves and they are known as indecision candles. Based on looking at them, we can't determine what the market sentiment or the market direction is as compared to a very clear up or down candle. So there's a vast field of study, there's an entire trove of information on, this, on you know, the various candlestick patterns. 
and people have really really creative ideas on what you can do when you see these particular candlestick patterns personally i don't really pay that much attention to the patterns because firstly there's just too many of them and secondly many times they might actually conflict with one another so it can lead to a bit of an information overload but that is my personal view if this is something that perhaps you may be interested in learning do let me know in the comments below and perhaps in the future i can make videos that talk more about these particular patterns but for the purpose of today's video we've talked about how do we read a price chart how do we understand individual candles what are up candles what are down candles what are indecision candles this is the basic fundamentals to technical analysis and it can set you up to go far in your investing journey so that's it for today's video if you found it to be helpful do support the channel by leaving a like in this technical analysis series we're going to be talking about a wide range of subjects and coming up next we're going to be talking about how do we identify trends we're going to talk about support and resistance drawing trend lines, indicators, and so much more. So make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out. And I will catch you again in the next video.